hello guys in this lecture hello guys in this video i'll show you how to download the jupyter notebook as pdf for example this is what a jupyter notebook i just want to download as a pdf and uh, like you can see there are a few markdowns and um, uh, there are a few results are there and a few visualizations everything is been there in these things so what i need to do is that like you know i need to download this as um, a pdf so what i can do is that like you know um you can download as a pdf so how i'm getting this or uh, what are the necessary installations or, or can able to do that i'll be going to explain you so the by end of this what you're going to do is that you can able to download this as a pdf so in order to do that there are a lot of steps and a lot of installations is being there so i'm going to explain you on this So while doing this, so if you do this, you'll get an error saying that uh, X letters is not found or some kind of errors, NB convert can fail, etc. So how to solve all such kind of things, I'm going to explain you. So this is what the expector. And as you can see, now we can able to download this as the PDF. And uh, now we can check that, like, you know, how I'm going to get this PDF, nice PDF. So excellent PDF uh, and uh, much more latex conversions where everything is been there all visualization is been there how i'm going to get so let's get on to how to how can we download this and what are the necessary setups and installations that we need to do let's get into that so what i do is that let's say this is my jupyter notebook and this is the i written some code on the numpy and some visualizations and etc has been there so what and what I want to do is that like you know I just want to download as PDF. So you can go to download and as PDF via LaTeX, and if you click on that, so generally what you'll get by default, you'll get an error. Something like this will be going to display in in one or two seconds. Yes, so you are getting an internal error 500 and says that NV convert failed and XLS path not found so how to how to get uh, rid of this problem is that we need to download one software so first thing what we do is that let's go to google and uh, type go just go to google and type uh, mix text okay mix mik text okay this is what the mik text is what you need to download and it is open source and free so what you need to do is that just go to that mik text and uh, this is the website for mik text click on this download and that uh, depends upon your operating system whether your windows it is mac or linux or whatever so it depends upon your operating system you just uh, uh, download it so in my case i was in the uh, windows so what i'll do is that i'm just downloading this okay all right so i already downloaded that for you so anyway i'll just download it again all right just wait until your download has been completed so we'll continue once our download is completed all right now i have downloaded the mik text editor so what we need to do is that right click and um, And just uh, run as an administrator so you will get a window will get pop up here so what you do you just accept um, the conditions terms and conditions and click next it is highly recommendable to generally to work on only one user so just install only for me click next and now you can set whatever the destination folder you want by default i am going into the whatever the uh, folder that is being set i'm just uh, using that folder so first thing what you need to do is that just copy this copy this path and uh, right click in your desktop and create uh, one text document and paste the path whatever that, that has been uh, installed so the, in this case this is what the path that i have been installed here all right now click next and 
of course the preferred uh, paper is a4 and uh, next and start so that's it so now what it will do is that it's going to be created for you and uh, probably it will take um, a few more minutes for this process to be completed so wait until this process has been completed All right, now I have set the path successfully for my MIK text. So what we will do now, uh, just go to your search and you can see there is a text works and MIK console is there. So make sure you just uh, click on this MIK text console. Now, the next step, what we will do is that like, you know, there are certain settings out there. And the first step you need to do is that check for updates, okay? Check for updates just wait for a couple of minutes it will uh, if, if at all those kind of updates has not been installed it will it will be installed now okay so there i found like you know there are eight updates or there you can see their updates are available so you can uh, you, you can you can click on this link or in the in the tab in the in the left side you can see the updates there are eight updates of there that i need to install it now so just click on update wait for a few minutes until this update has been finished all right now we have successfully installed all, all our updates so it asked me to close just click on ok now just refresh for the we just refresh your computer and again just go to your console and click on mik text console that's it so now you can see we have like you know it has been installed successfully and this is what the last update and um, so so on like you know you have everything has been there so everything has been set so okay now what we need to do is that we need to restart our computer so just restart your computer and uh, we'll come back once you have restarted our computer
So done. We can see now. You can see that uh, I, my entire thing is over. So uh, now I can able to in, download my PDF. So what do you do? Just click save. So that's it, guys. So this is how, like you know, you can able to uh, download your Jupyter notebook and the PDF. Now you can see this is what the PDF is nice and clear, very clear. So excellent uh, PDF. Like you can see all the visualizations that i have been used this is what the histograms and the i mean this is the uniform distribution histograms and uh, poisons distributions gamma distribution so many things so almost all the all the plots has been restored now you can see this is really awesome uh, and uh, that is how like you know you can able to um, download download the pdf version whatever you want in the latex form so this is how guys this is how you can able to download the pdfs if did you if this helps you please kindly like it and also share it to your friends and if you are feeling if you are facing any more difficulties please uh, write down in the below comment so that i or someone will help you please subscribe to our channel for the more lectures on data science python statistics machine learning and deep learning thank you very much